Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the FOMC Wednesday here, um, 29 July. Goldman Sachs will not shut up about uh, shorting the dollar. You could argue they're a little bit late to the party. Dollar Swiss is down 8%. Um, from the May highs up there at 98. But um, that being said, this sort of clarion call to short dollars is going to seep its way out there and and uh, you're going to see a lot of players now sticking low bids into Euro to try and get on this trade. Um, so it will be sticky on the downside. Um, you got to be core short dollars. Uh, Euro looks a little bit crowded. Cable already did its sort of 129.30 move, but cable cable's going to go to like 140. Um, and so maybe maybe cable is a better horse than than Euro. Um, 128.15 should be support in cable. So. Maybe buying low ones in cable is better than buying low ones in euro. Dollar Swiss, sort of the slow, methodical plotter. Um, kind of at the range lows here, 91.50. What was this low here in March? 91.82. Um, always get a bit twitchy selling dollar Swiss at 90 cents but this probably has more to go maybe goes down to 85 um, but Euro Swiss may kinda get a mystery bid uh, to it because dollar Swiss would tend to be sticky down at 90 cents dollar yen same 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 idea you just wanna sell high ones in dollar yen your stop has to be above 106.60 Cross yen, uh, we're short a little bit of Kiwi yen here because of the stock market action running into some support here in sort of 75.80, but um, just the risk off tone a little bit today. Um, we have some, some short Kiwi yen, but cross yen in general is not doing too, too much. Come off a little bit with. Um, with the dollar yen side and the euro being crowded this euro yen sterling yen is not doing too much sterling higher dollar yen lower it's not really a cross yen time we have kiwi yen on just because it's a it's a low vol proxy for risk let's take a look at this uh, dollars are 1635 is important. Um, this is the kind of day where, where Dollar Czar might go down. If he's really, really dovish, which he might be, um, Dollar Czar could really tumble. It's going to be weird, right? 8 p.m. tonight in Europe. 9 p.m. in, in Joburg. The liquidity is going to be a mess. Really, really hard to trade. Um... I'll undoubtedly be tired, so may have to give it a pass. But 1635 is an interesting point in um, dollars are Aussie. No idea what to do with this. Uh, heart says sell. Chart says buy. Chart always wins over heart in trading. Fuck your heart. Follow the chart. Um, Looks like she wants to make a new high here uh, through 71.90. Uh, no dog in that fight. If Euro does do a, if a Risk does do a whoopsie daisy, we do like Euro Aussie as, as a horse. Um, secondary horse, of course. But um, 165 is sort of the next real big interesting high. If you want to buy low ones, you want to try and sneak those in around 163, the figure. Kiwi not doing much. 
dollar CAD also not doing much. Dollar CAD below 133.15 really opens the floodgates for 125. Keep that in mind. Gold. Woo wee. 70 bucks lower from the highs, 50 bucks higher. 50 bucks doesn't mean as much as it used to in gold now that we're at 1950. Um, so, is what it is. Gold looks like she wants to still go higher. Uh, watch out for the gold liquidation if equities uh, do a massive risk off and we get a rush to liquidate all portfolios or rush to back to cash. But until that happens, um, gold looks very, very solid. Bitcoin also looks super solid. Up to 11.5 yesterday, back down to 10.5, of course. Um, you just want to accumulate Bitcoin. Uh, you should get a chance to get this stuff around 10,200, maybe 9,500. The trading action in Bitcoin is not really... Um, doesn't really make a lot of sense doesn't trade super normal like a normal currency um, and then you, of course you get these bouts of massive selling uh, so I don't know you just want to try and use the volatility to to get given get given Bitcoin on low ones if you can I'm gonna pull up the 10-year uh, bond chart just because all of this debasement of currency talk eventually is going to bleed into this 10-year uh, chart. Powell may talk about fixing rates, fixing the long end of the curve, which is the 10-year curve. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the market receives that. Um, obviously, it looks like the market's already said, okay, the Fed's going to fix long-term rates, but... I don't know. Fixing rates, say, in Australia versus fixing rates in the United States of America. Um, two different kettles of fish there, right? I mean, the entire world uses the U.S. bond market. It's just too big to fix. And eventually the flow of money is going to cause this to break. Uh, and our premise is going to be as the U.S. dollar uh, accelerates lower, people are going to start questioning owning U.S. assets, including U.S. bonds. The Fed just can't keep buying forever. Uh, and so between watching the balance sheet and watching how foreigners react to U.S. assets, this thing could eventually turn. It's not turning today not turning this summer um, maybe not even this winter but it's time to start watching US fixed income not trading it just watching it so we can be ready you don't want to be first in this trade you just want to realize when it's happening um, so then you can pile in and profit from basically a retreat from from U.S. assets. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about that today. Put it on your radar. Euro Norway, 1075. Very important point. If uh, crude goes lower, this could be interesting. And crude, it is kind of... See how fucked up this chart is because of that stupid $40 bar. Um... 40.50, it's important. I don't know what's going on in crude. It's very hard to trade. Um, pretty quiet overall, but below 40.50 um, should lead to maybe 40 bucks, and then below 40 should lead lower. I don't understand why crude is here. Demand for travel, demand for driving, demand for all things uh, crude oil looks to me to be very impaired. Um, we shall see. We shall see uh, what happens with crude. But below 40.50, the alarm bells will go off. This will add a little bit of risk off. Um, 
and we will trade accordingly. Finally, yes, 3190 is important. It's now sort of a head and shoulder -y thing, bull bear line, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's a gap to fill to 3183. So it might be sort of like weirdly sticky between sort of 3180 and 32 the figure. Plus, it's going to be hard to carry this into FOMC because there's the usual bullshit vol uh, over that, over that uh, press conference. Um, but be aware, 3190 is in a very important point uh, for the E-minis. So um, watch out if we get down there. All right, I've said enough. Uh, again, not much going on at the European Open. Pretty quiet. Looking to get short dollars into what we think is going to be a pretty dovish uh, but not super important FOMC. Watching equities, 3190. Watching crude, 4050. Um, but quiet summary market still. Uh, the real fun looks like it's going to start maybe in 10 days' time. Usually, sort of mid August, things start to really kick off. Um, so, you want to save, save your powder, keep your powder dry, save your bullets, um, and be patient until then. All right, said enough. Good luck out there, people. See you tomorrow.